Hi, Leonor Teles. Hi. Ni nice to meet you. You recently released your first documentary, Terra Franca. Um, the movie is about the life of a fisherman and his family. Uh, and the title is inspired from your native town, uh, Villa Franca de Xira, uh, which is 30 kilometers away from Lisbon. Uh, why did you decide to make a film in your town and how did you choose the main character? Um, I think in the beginning when you start making films and uh, start to doing cinema, you always like, uh, in my case, I try to, to talk about things that are very close to me and uh, what, is very, what is more close to me than my hometown. So I think for me it was like, first I need to explore the, the places that I know better. And um, I always had this uh, will and uh, this aim to, to shoot in Villafranca. Albertino, uh, I met him because I went to I went uh, in school with uh, his younger daughter, and uh, so I I know him for a, a very long time, and uh, there is this day uh, I went to shoot something and the, the in across the river and the person who gave me a lift uh, on the boat was Albertino. And uh, I had this image when we were crossing the river. I had this image of this this um, cowboy without the um, yeah. without a horse, but in the boat. And uh, I kept that image for like three or four years in my head. And I was kept thinking maybe the character for the for the film that I want to make in my hometown is this is this person is Albertine. And uh, Terra Franca began with that, uh, with those two things, with the uh, with the place and the character. Yeah. And so along the movie, we follow Albertino's family routine, uh, and there are plenty of daily life scenes. Uh, I read critics arguing that it could be empty or even a kind of voyeurism. Uh, so I'm asking myself a question: uh, What did you want it to show us with uh, this family? I really love them, that family, because I think they, are, they have a very beautiful message, because they are very united and they support each other in everything. And I don't think like every family had that kind of um, interaction and support each other and care about each other and have a lot of love. I think they, they have a, a very good dynamic and they are very funny also. And uh, in a way they remind me my own family. But I don't think it's like empty because of course everyone has their own family and they have their own routines, but um, I don't think like nowadays people get together like them. Every day they, they make the effort to be together and to share their problems and to share their lives. And uh, I, I think at least a bit Nowadays, people are so concerned about themselves that don't, they don't care even about the family. How did you work with the people you shot? Uh, how did you manage to get close enough so they can forget your presence? That was really difficult and hard. Um, the thing that I, that I knew that could help me would, uh, would be time. And I spent a lot of time with them. I spent two years shooting. And there was a lot of uh, a lot of times that I didn't shoot, that I just went and spent time with them. It's uh, and then after a while, after several months, after a year, they start to forgetting. They, they don't, actually they don't forget that you are, but they feel you as part of themselves. And I think that's the difference because I was not like a fly on the wall. Uh, I, I, f I really feel the privilege that I was part of that family. So once I was one of them, they start to not feeling uh, uh, shame or uh, afraid of the things that I was recording. There was this day that I that I show them so, uh, some things that I that I've shot, some image of themselves, and uh, they were really happy w uh, with uh, with the image, and uh, they start to feel like uh, very confident and uh, feel part of the project and after uh, after that day they start to invite me for like everything mm -hmm. so it was like a really um, a partnership no it was not, not just me doing the film but uh, we all all of us together making the film 
How did they react when they saw the entire movie for the first time? Oh, well, that was really that was a really good. Uh, we we did a projection in their home. We 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 bring the projector and the um, the columns, and uh, we made like a screening, and the uh, on the wall and uh, with everyone. So it was was really really nice, and they f they they laugh a lot. They feel that the people they that that they see on the film were themselves. So they feel really related. They don't feel like disconnected or or misrepresented. Uh, so they were. I think they they were really happy with the result and uh, and feel very excited and uh, very and they had a lot of fun. I don't want to unveil much about the story, but there was one of Albertino's daughter uh, who is getting married during the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that you didn't know that it was going to happen. No. Uh, so how did you build the documentary? Did you shoot scenes quite randomly to see what happens next? Or did you have a plan of what you wanted to show? Uh, for Terra Franca, I had uh, two things. I wanted to shoot for the course of a year, an entire year. And I had like a, a list of scenes. That, that I wanted to, to shoot, like uh, some, uh, some fishing scenes, uh, some um, uh, dinners, parties, uh, cafe scenes, uh, street scenes. And also I, w I, um, I talk with them and, and ask them, what do you think you feel that is important to appear in the film? And uh, um, they suggest some things, and uh, after a year, I stopped, and uh, I see all the material, and I and I select some things, and made um, uh, one first cut, uh, very rough, and uh, and um, and I make a list of things that I feel that I needed to shoot or to reshoot again because they were not really well. Uh, everything is not in chrono chronological order? Yes, okay. but we made it to, to be mm. because I, I wanted to feel like you have like that you that you um, start the movie in the in the summer and then in the next summer. We try to do that like to like to you feel the time like that you feel one year of the um, in this family in the course of the life of this family. One of the things that they suggest uh, when I was uh, one of, uh, in one of the talks that we had, they, they said to me, Leonor, you want to, to shoot one year? Uh, it would be nice if you, if you shoot our wedding. Mm -hmm. So they invite me to, to shoot that and to stay until, until that time. In fact, it could almost be seen as a fictional movie with fake real actors. Yes, uh, that was the point. <laughs> it is something that, is it something that you want to promote? Uh, this kind of new genre, it's not uh, completely a documentary, yeah, it's, but not, it's completely not completely a fiction. fiction. I, I don't think I want to promote, I just feel the need to make a film like this. But I really feel that the nowadays, this way of making are the really most interesting films that you can make. I, I really love to ma I really love to work on documentary but sometimes it's not enough and when you put fiction on it you can really add something really powerful and uh, even bigger than just the documentary. Well, thank you Lenore. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs>